Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Yeah, we've got a little bit of ice heading our way for the weekend, and I'm kind of torn in this situation where I want to inform you about the chance for slick conditions Saturday morning and some ice, but also tell you that overall, most of us, this is not going to be a big deal weather-wise, just a miserable really start to the day. From a winter weather perspective, this is probably at the lowest end scale of severe weather risk. Though you can never mess with ice, and if you're traveling early Saturday, that's the real concern. This is an easy one to avoid because all you got to do is, like I mentioned earlier, sleep in on Saturday morning, and this will be in and out fairly quickly. The transition from ice to rain is going to happen. The worst is probably going to be around sunrise and before, but we'll get into those details. But I just want to lay that out there because um, I, people are going to either tell you you're overhyping or underhyping an event like this, and it's hard to kind of play the middle ground where, yeah, we're going to have ice, but it's not going to be that big of an ice storm or slick condition. So here's our system. You can clearly see it. And there's some hints at what's going to happen in our area already. As I pause this, I want to show you something. So, you know, Charlotte is here. We've got cold air wedged in. But even in Arkansas, we've got from mid-Arkansas south, it's all rain. There's good snow bursts to the north. So even if this transition is due east, you kind of get the idea that there's not a lot of cold air even to our west. And I'll kind of show you the setup. The cold air is there. I mean... I don't want to make it sound like there's not cold air in place um, because we do have some really cold air over us. Temperatures in the 20s and 30s, even had teens this morning. The problem is the high pressure that's supplying the cold air right here is not going to stay here or even up here. It's actually going to go here. And that's not a good location because the flow around the high pressure actually brings in warmer air. And so does the low pressure. The low pressure brings in warmer air. So all of this warm air kind of uses up the cold air. So what you're left with is whatever surface cold air is there will initially change things to wintry precip, but it gets used up quick. There's not a constant supply. It's like it runs out of fuel um, for cold air. So it's a short-lived system, almost completely devoid of, of persistent cold air. So let's get into the future cast because I think it's going to show you a lot about what's going to happen. We'll break it down with some of the graphics here. So obviously to highlight all the advisories in effect. So our winter storm watch was upgraded to a winter weather advisory in most counties, a few areas under a winter storm warning um, and a few more counties added to the winter weather advisory. It's really important to know that a winter storm watch is the lowest beginning kind of setup. You do get upgraded. A winter weather advisory is an upgrade from a winter storm watch. It's just a lower upgrade. The maximum upgrade is all the way up to a winter storm warning. So you should never discount like winter weather advisory. Oh, it's, it's better. No. It's still an upgrade <laughs> um, and in fact more counties have been added to that so you kind of see the counties and i agree with this completely this is kind of the area i expected to see the winter weather advisories where we could expect more ice southeast of Asheville, that escarpment area as you go down towards the upstate and then areas up here into um, virginia now i mentioned yesterday this is the area if i was traveling saturday morning my biggest concern would be i-77 flat top mountain area notoriously bad visibility you know that area is that fog area with the flashing lights you come out of the mountains there you see pilot mountain and you know you're in north carolina going north it's straight uphill all the trucks get in the right lane this is a very known ice area so that to me is that's one of the that's one of the areas i would avoid early saturday and notice 1 a.m to 1 p.m so a 12 hour window i think it's shorter than that but it's a very good good uh, outline of what's going on. So where are we going to see a tenth of an inch in ice? Tenth of an inch in ice is kind of where the first hints of ice have impacts uh, on roads and stuff. So this is the probabilities. And you could see for the Charlotte metro area, it's 1% or zero. So this is an area where we're not worried about ice at all on the roads. In fact, you got to get to Interstate 40 North before I really have concerns. Now, northern Cleveland County, I could argue with the South Mountains there. Um, northwest Lincoln County and parts of Catawba County. But I would say from about Mooresville North is where you really got to start to worry. And then the worst weather is going to be right here. I mean, this area, the eastern facing slopes, I would actually go all the way down to here. This is the area of greatest concern for ice. And this is the area where I would want to avoid travel early Saturday. By noon, probably going to be fine. But I would say between sunrise and noon on, on on saturday i would avoid traveling in that area um for significant ice chances just say chances i don't know why it says it's misspelled but um a little typo up there but this is the chance of what i would call ice that would cause damage to trees or power lines pretty small one to five percent but there is an area around ten percent in parts of northern alexander parts of caldwell the yatkin valley this is an area to watch you get a quarter inch of ice you can see damage to trees and power lines that's the threshold 
for damage to that type of equipment. Here's how much ice I think is going to happen. I think this is a really good layout. Again, a glaze to a tenth of an inch. And a lot of this will be on elevated surfaces, not on the roads. So you might see some glistening in the trees. You might see some railings, some signs, your deck, you know, anything that's got air around. Remember, roads only are exposed to air on one side, the upside, right? But uh, elevated surfaces are exposed to air all the way around them. So they're more likely going to freeze. Um, so areas that we're worried about, I mean, just to highlight, you know, Blowing Rock, I would think Boone, Linville Gorge, Jonas Ridge, Marion to Morganton, Lenore, north of Taylorsville for, for sure, uh, Wilk, Wilkesboro, North Wilkesboro, the Mount Airy, Sparta area, all this area to me is an area where I would be more concerned. Then down towards Lake Lure, Brevard, Hendersonville, the airport at Charlotte, or at Asheville, actually probably will get a lot more ice than Asheville itself. So um, you might see the, the numbers come from Asheville. You know, the airport's south and east, pretty far from downtown. The numbers of ice down towards the airport will be much higher than Asheville itself. And then in Charlotte, you know, if we see anything, I'd be shocked. Here's what the model guidance is showing. This is our, our in-house model. And it kind of shows some of the highlighted areas. Again, that area, you know, south of Asheville. This is the other known area. The other area, you know, I talked about this area, flat top mountain area. And you see the heavy area. That's kind of an area known for icing. So is this area south of Asheville. And then the Yadkin Valley up here, Sparta, um, up to that area around um the flat top mountain area coming out of the mountains there. And then, you know, Jefferson and Boone is an area to watch too. I, I think if you're in the mountains, I will tell you this, there's not a lot of snow, even in the mountains, it will be an inch or less. This is ice even for the mountains. Um, travel concerns, you can see the, the low end risk on 77. I actually think it should be medium up here, but you see some of the medium areas. And again, this is basically how it's gonna impact your life. Low, some slick spots, medium is where, yeah, probably got more of an issue um, with some of the areas. So here's the updated timing. I updated the timing because things are moving pretty quickly. Uh, Boone, I, I, I'm going really optimistic for snow. I don't know if we'll even see that much snow, to be honest with you. It might be sleet. Now, someone's going to say, well, it's, I'm going to be up at two o'clock in the morning. I'm probably going to see snow. But by the time most of us wake up, it'll be sleet or, or, or light snow changing to ice quickly. And even in the mountains, believe it or not, it becomes rain. Hickory, this I-40 corridor. So everybody in I-40, this is Morganton, Hickory, Statesville, Taylorsville probably ice through mid-morning and then shuts off. Gastonia, Charlotte, it, this is probably, I'm going over the top here just to make sure everyone knows, there probably will be a little ice early on and then changes to rain. And then south of there, it's it's all rain. It's it's a non-issue. Um, let's look at our future cast here. I'll pause it a couple times just to show you. So we'll stop at midnight. Let me shrink this up a little bit so it's easier to see. Probably better to have the time on here so you guys can see this. Let me shrink it. There we go. We'll shrink it down right there so you can see the time. I'll put my head right here, kind of right there. Okay, so there we go. So there's a look at the time. You could see one o'clock in the morning. Temperatures are generally, you know, in the 30s, kind of marginal temperatures here. 31 in Asheville will go to about 5 a.m. So if you're up bright and early, um, mid 30s, again, it's not going to be a great day. Miserable. When I say warm in these situations, I feel like, I'm not talking about like warm temperatures. I'm just saying it's above freezing. That's kind of, that's the threshold we're looking at. So, you know, temperatures warm up to 36. It's still cold, but you see the idea up here. Yeah, even, even in the areas where we think there's going to be ice, the temperature might be above freezing. But no, North Wilkesboro, uh, Mount Airy, Jefferson, Boone, yeah, probably icing. We'll go to about 7 a.m. You know, that, that cold air gets locked in. The temperatures don't move much. In some cases, they might fall up there where they stay pretty steady around Charlotte. We'll get to mid-morning. So again, this is what I said. If you sleep in, oh, man, bro, I'm sleeping until 9 or 10 on Saturday. Probably going to be over by the time you get up. And notice around Charlotte, no issues at all. There should be no runs to the grocery store in Charlotte or people talking about snow. Do not look at your apps. Microsoft sent out bogus data all day yesterday and the day before. Remember, apps, they're automated garbage, okay? They're not local. You know, I love GPS, right? But don't be one of those people that, drives into a lake because the GPS told them to turn left. When you looked out the window, there was a lake. Don't listen to these computers. <laughs> Use common sense, okay? It is not going to snow in Charlotte tomorrow, okay? We go through Saturday afternoon till 10 a.m. I should get to morning, actually. We're still in morning. Things start to change the rain pretty quickly. I'll go to about 11. And you can see temperatures still marginal up here, but most areas are, are getting above freezing. And again, remember, we just got to get to 32.1. And the roads will be wet. Doesn't mean there couldn't be ice in the trees, but the roads will start to get kind of just wet. And then we go into the afternoon. This is noon. 
And even in the mountains, notice it changes the rain. It's in the 30s, mid 30s in Boone. And by the afternoon, you know, we're, we're kind of done. So by four o'clock, it's all out of here. So moral of the story here is this is not a big event. Um, it is going to be a little bit of ice. If I'm traveling early Saturday, especially in the areas that I, I highlighted here, again, our only real concern, and even here, I think the main roads would probably be fine. It's going to be right in here. The area that we're talking about, this little wedge area is where we're going to see the highest risk of ice and slick roads. But even there, okay, even there where we think the worst of it's going to be, it's only going to last a couple hours and be done by mid to late morning. So if you're in those areas or you're traveling to those areas, if you don't want to take any chances, just avoid it between sunrise and noon and you'll have no issues. If you do have to go through that area, like there's no other way, just take it slow and particularly watch the bridges and overpasses. Um, and the later you get in the morning, the better the weather's going to be. So hope that helps you out. I will post updates um, tonight. Hopefully I'll post a couple more updates and we'll try to post something tomorrow. But I think all in all, this is going to be fine. Brittany's going to be on for me tonight and Brittany will be tomorrow morning. So she does a great job. She'll have you covered on TV. And if anything changes, we'll let you know.